Daniel from Happy Downloads here. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use the OneNote app on the Surface Pro. We do have a similar video to um, this on the iPad, um, but I just want to show the on it on Surface Pro as there are some differences and there's a slight different layout, so it'll be useful for Surface Pro users. So the first thing um, I'm just going to show is firstly we're using this uh, bookshelf um, section, and what that does is it allows you to access your different notebooks, select the notebook, you'll then have your sections along here together with the pages. Now on the Surface Pro you're able to um, expand and collapse sections um, and then select on individual pages so you, you can organize your pages a little bit better. Now to move um, pages around what you can do is long press and then just drag so that that will move the sections and you can do the exact same thing for pages either as a group or at the underlying pages is the same principle so you can easily move them around as you would like. If you do want to copy um, sections and Surface Pro is very straightforward. You can just long press and you'll then see this move or copy which you can then copy and paste it to a, a different um, notebook um, and similarly for the pages you can just long press and again you'll see move copy where you can put it through into different sections or even different planners. One well, does have the ability to put a password on different sections so the one way you can do this is just a long press on the relevant section you wish to protect then hit password protection Hit add password, then enter in the password you wish to use. So you can use happy. It does take a, a few seconds for it to attach the password. You can see it's done it here. Um, it hasn't yet protected it, so you can see, um, let me just go into here. You can see this icon here still has the uh, um, unlocked um, lock on there. So if you want to lock it, you just tap this, and then you can see it's now password protected. Now I just put in happy, and you can see it unlocks it. So it's just a useful way to be able to make sure that your um, information is private. In the next section, we have this magnifying glass. So if you tap the magnifying glass, um, in this one I've, I've put in uh, VET, and what you can see is, number one, it shows you the different pages down here. And you can see on here it's got VET mentioned. Um, but it also, not only does it pick up text that's been written in, it'll also be able to pick up, for example, here's an image with the letters in there. So it can actually identify it from either images or from handwriting. It does take some time for the OneApp app to um, spot the handwriting and to understand what the word is. So it doesn't happen instantly, but you can search it through here, um, which can be quite useful. So the next bit I was going to mention is recent. So if you tap on this recent notes, it will just go to different planners that you've used recently, um, just so you, you've got easy access to those ones that you might use often. Now what I'll do is I'm actually going to start from um, the view section. Um, the reason for that is this kind of deals with the uh, layout of the, um, of the planner. So one of the key ones is actually this section here. So you can either zoom in at 100%, and this, you can still, in our planners, zoom in more, so in case you do want to be able to get that extra detail. But then you can just hit this button here, page width, and what it will do is it will just resize the page to make it easier for you um, to be able to see the whole the whole page. Obviously you have zooms, um, zoom in and zoom out. Um, do have page color, so you can change the page color. Um, I don't recommend it for our planner because obviously the white area uh, disrupts that, um, but you can change the page color as well as put in some grid or lined paper but as I say it only works on the outside so I don't recommend that for our planner. Um, you do have a bit more section on deleted notes um, so any that you have deleted do stay in there for a period of time just be careful that if you for password protected sections it doesn't save them because obviously it might be sensitive so you do lose that ability to be able to um, re-see some items. Just one bit to mention as well on the top uh, right here we have a um, full page um, view so it does allow you to be able to just have the whole page um, for your planning um, so if you're going to spend some time on a particular page you might want to make it a whole page uh, view. Moving on to the next section draw if you just select a pen you can within this pen icon you're able to change the uh, size of the uh, tip uh, together with the colors and then what you can use to do is use your stylus and just write um, what you can do is if it looks messy like mine you can use the eraser tool and rub it out. Now the um, tips do come in different versions. You have a pen, you also have highlighting, so you're able to use it as a 
as a as a highlighter and you also have um, pencil so it, it, just the texture of the actual text is is slightly different so as I showed on here we have an eraser tool and you have different functions on here you can have a stroke eraser and what that will do is just wipe out the entire stroke or change the size of the eraser and what that they will do is instead of let me just show if I just do a line the stroke eraser will just wipe the whole thing whereas the other erasers will just wipe out part of the line so you can use it whichever one you prefer depending on the particular situation what you can also use on here so let me just put Jim back in is you can use these tools um, so you can use the lasso icon and what you can do is group it up and then you can select your your writing you can then use your finger and move it around make it bigger and smaller as you would like or if you're embarrassed with your writing you can just delete it so um, that, that kind of explains the pen icons and the lasso tool the lasso tool does allow you to um, select multiple objects and images um, so you can move things and move a large number around or cut and uh, paste it elsewhere as you would like so using the uh, text icon what you can do is just select where you wish to enter some text type it in and close it down and you can see it enters in um, my one is coming in at a font of 48 uh, size for this planner so the way you can set it as a default like whatever size that you wish to use for the document you're using you just go to settings options and then at the bottom here you can set your default font so it enters in at that um, the size that's relevant for your particular planner once you've entered the text in you can long press and then you can style it how you'd like to style it so let's suppose I want to make it bold I want to highlight it yellow I want to change the font color however you want you can kind of format it the way that you'd like and then you can long press and delete so you can see in here you have these different um, functions. You do also have here some quick um, symbols that you're able to add in. So I can just hit this and you can see a, a star enters. So it's a few bits that you might want use to tag certain items in your planner. Um, you do have bullet points and so on. Um, but hopefully that gives you an overview of the text function. So now we've got insert. And um, this one's uh, quite useful because you can add in, I mean, the key thing is you can add in pictures and images. So you can just hit pictures, go from files, Select an image that you wish to bring in, use your finger, you can resize, you can grab it and move it around however you would like to. So it's very easy to be able to add in your, your pictures, um, but you do have to do it one by one. What we do have is some in our, our planner um, different sticker files and what you can do is just select different icons, uh, copy, go to your planner and paste it in. So if you do have them already imported somewhere onto a different um, a different section, it's just a bit quick, quicker and easier to be able to move um, those th copy the stickers in. And what you can do is also bring in a large number at once by using the lasso tool. So let's just suppose I want those four. Copy. Let's go to a, a different week. Paste them in. And then you can have them all in it. You, know, you can you can you can basically ha bring them in quicker than doing it one by one. So that's the insert section. Um, so I think we've gone through most of the bits at the top. The last bits I wanted to talk about was the ones over here. So this one just shows you that it has synced um, to your OneDrive account. So just make sure that if if there's any issues there, you just want to be able to tap on there and see. This one will show you when. Um, another device used your planner so if you've got if you're particularly if you're sharing a planner you'll be able to see if things have changed you can share your planner with other people so then they can access it um, and there's also settings let me just go through some of these because it's quite can be quite useful on here it's important to make sure that you've got the uh, um, notebook synced so that way you if particularly if you're using it on other devices so that way you're you're using the latest version um, I mentioned previously that we've got this um, uh, default font section so you're able to set your default uh, font style as well as the size which is useful to have and if you want to put spelling errors on and off you can enable it here hopefully that gives you a good overview of um, OneNote 
um, app on the Surface Pro. If you have any questions, give us a shout. Do check out our planner if you're interested, and we do have the 30-day money-back guarantee, so feel free to try it out. Thanks. Happy planning.